Γεια σας, καλησπέρα σας. Ε, συζητάμε συγγνώμη για την καθυστέρηση. Μας ειδοποίησαν από το Υπουργείο ότι είναι καθοδόν ο Γενικός Ζαματέας, ε, διότι είχαν και κάτι έκτακτο. Και το έκτακτο είναι να μας βρίσκουν κάποια νομικά θέματα που ζητάμε εμείς σαν φορείς για το επάγγελμά μας, το οποίο αντιλαμβάνεστε ότι είναι σπουδαία δεδομένα αυτά, μιας και έχουμε δύο νέα νομοθετήματα στην Βουλή να αντιμετωπίσουμε. Έτσι, κύριε Πρόεδρε, και πρέπει να έχουμε και λίγο κατανόηση. Συγγνώμη γι' αυτό. Ε, σήμερα είμαστε εδώ. Uh, everything Greek to you. Everything sounds Greek to you. Okay. Yeah, you, you can translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ο, ο λόγος που είμαστε σήμερα εδώ είναι γιατί, όπως όλοι πολύ καλά γνωρίζετε, με μεγάλη προσπάθεια προσπαθήσαμε να φέρουμε την Αμερικάνικη Ένωση Λαφέντα Ξενίων, την Άστα, να οργανώσει το συνέδριό τη του χρόνου. Ήμασταν μία από τις πέντε υποψήφιες χώρες και κερδίσαμε και αυτή τη φορά, γιατί θυμίζω και ένα προηγούμενο συνέδριο που είχαμε φέρει από το Ισραήλ και ανέβηκαν οι πωλήσει 20%. Αντιλαμβάνεστε τι είναι το ενδιαφέρον για μια τέτοια σπουδαία αγορά που οι περισσότεροι από εσά δουλεύετε με αυτήν την Αμερικάνικη αγορά. Ε, είπα για εσά, γιατί δουλεύω κι εγώ, αλλά για να μην πείτε ότι έχω κάποιον ιδιαίτερο λόγο. Ε, αυτό που καταφέραμε και έχουμε στενή συνεργασία με τον κύριο Μπομπ Ντάγκλινγκ, τον αντιπρόεδρο τη ΑΣΤ, είναι να είμαστε εδώ να μα μιλήσει για το σκοπό και τον στόχο της ΆΣΤΑ, να μας πει περισσότερα για τα συνέδρια που οργανώνουν και σε άλλες χώρες και να, μας, να σας θυμίσω ότι είναι η τρίτη φορά που έρχεται η ΆΣΤΑ να κάνει συνέδριο στην Ελλάδα. Την είχαμε το 67, το 87 και τώρα. Ε, θυμάμαι, ναι, το 17. Ε, 18. Τώρα είναι 17. Ναι. Ε, θυμάμαι, Βίρονα, που το 87 πάλι τρέχαμε για να κάνουμε το operation μαζί. Σε ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ για τη συνεργασία και τη βοήθειά σου, ώστε ως uh, chairman των governors της ΆΣΤΑ. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ όλους τους προέδρους, τους θέους προέδρους της ΆΣΤΑ Ελλάς, προεξοχούς της κυρίας Παναγιωτοπούλου και όλους τους άλλους συναδέλφους και τον νυν πρόεδρο της ΆΣΤΑ Ελλάς και ελπίζουμε στις ανανεώσεις των διαδικασιών ε, να μας πούν και οι Αμερικάνοι πώς θέλουν να κινηθούν με αυτή τη σκέψη για το charter της Ελλάδος, όπως και για τα άλλα charter. Σε αυτήν την εκδήλωση εκτός Αμερικανών πρακτόρων που θα έρθουν εδώ, η επιθυμία μας και έγινε κατανοητό εκ μέρους του κ. Μποτ Ντάγκλιν, ήταν ε, το πώς θα διευρυνθεί η επισκεψιμότητα και των όλων ASTA chapters, το οποίο αντιλαμβάνεται σε κάθε χώρα υπάρχει ένας τοπικός σύνδεσμος ASTA. Ε, είναι πολύ διαδεδομένη αυτή η λογική, σε όλε τι χώρε του κόσμου υπάρχει αντίστοιχο chapter. Καλώ ήρθατε. Καλώ ορίζουμε τον κύριο Τσέγα, τον Γενικό Γραμματέα του ΕΟΤ. Έλα. Ε, πήρα λίγο από τον χρόνο σα και του διασκεδάζω. Καθίστε. Καθίστε εδώ. <laughs> λοιπόν, ε, λοιπόν, να επανέλθουμε και να πούμε ότι ε, η διαδικασία τη ΆΣΤΑ. Είναι αυτή που μα φέρνει κοντά και του ξενοδόχου και του τουριστικού πράκτορε, γιατί δεν έχουμε καμία διαφορά μεταξύ μα. Αυτό που ζητάμε εμεί είναι κάτι πολύ λεπτό, 
το οποίο είναι κατανοητό και από εσά, είναι ότι από τι τρίτε χώρε όποιοι έρχονται στη χώρα μα να κάνουν δουλειά, να, να μην ξεχνάτε ότι υπάρχει ένα νόμο 33, το οποίο λέει χώρε από τρίτε ε, τουρισμού από τι τρίτε χώρε πρέπει να έχουν ειδικό του γραφείο εδώ ή να έχουν αντιπρόσωπο, δηλαδή ελληνικό γραφείο ταξιδιών. Και αυτό γιατί έχουμε τεράστια κόστη φόρου και όσοι δουλεύουν παράνομα παράτυπα έχουν 24% λιγότερο, δεν πληρώνουν κανένα φόρο, κανένα έφτα. Άρα έχουμε ένα θέμη του ανταγωνιστή, ο οποίο δημιουργείται κακοπροαίρετα, το οποίο φυσικά κανεί δεν το καταφέρει να γίνει. Άρα αυτό που ξεκινήσαμε και γίνεται αποδεκτό. Και όσοι ξενοδόχοι έχετε συνεργαστεί μαζί μα στην Άστα, στην κατηγορία των Friendly Hotels, μα δίνει την ευκαιρία να σα ευχαριστήσουμε και δημόσια. Ε, η διαδικασία της ΆΣΤΑ έχει το συνέδριο. Θα σας κάνει παρουσίαση ο Μπόμπ, αλλά λίγα λόγια θα σας πω και θα κατέβω, μην σας κουράσω. Ε, θα έχουμε την δυνατότητα όσοι προβληθούν εκτός από τα στάνς και τα B2B, μπορεί να είναι μεγάλες εταιρείες αλυσίδες, μπορεί να είναι περιφέρειες, να αναδείξουν και να παρουσιάσουν τον προορισμό τους. Θα γίνει ένα μεγάλο event opening ceremony στο Ηρώδιο. Ετοιμάζουμε ένα ωραίο βραδινό γκαλά σε συνεργασία με το Υπουργείο Τουρισμού και το ΝΕΟΤ στο Ζάπιο. Δηλαδή θα είναι κάτι, να το πω όπως το λένε και στο Υπουργείο, κάτι wow. Γιατί είναι μια πολύ μεγάλη αγορά και θέλουμε να γυρίσει πίσω για αυτή τη δουλειά. Άρα και εκεί έχετε τη δυνατότητα, ό,τι επιλέξετε, να είστε καλοδεχούμενοι. Σας λέμε ότι ήδη αυτή τη στιγμή έχουν σχεδόν συμπληρωθεί τα B2B. Άρα, όσοι αποφασίστε να είστε σε κάτι, ε, αποφασίστε το γρήγορα. Για τα στάντζ έχουν μείνει λίγα περιθώρια και για τι μεγάλε εταιρείε που θέλουν να κάνουν παρουσίαση ή τι περιφέρειε, οι οποίε θα επικοινωνηθούν με κάποια άλλη διαδικασία, ε, θα έχουν και αυτή τη δυνατότητα να κάνουν ε, αντίστοιχα αυτό που λέμε. Είναι βέβαιο ότι μετά από ένα συνέδριο, ο προορισμό είναι πάρα πολύ δυνατό. Ο προορισμό έχει μετά το συνέδριο και πόστου. Στα πόστου επιλέγουμε να πάμε. Θεσσαλονίκη, Ρόδο, Μύκονο Σαντορίνη, Κρήτη Ρεθίνο ε, ή ό,τι άλλο προταθεί. Έχουμε κάποια walking tours, κάποιοι που κάνουν ειδικέ διαδρομές και θέλουν να προβάλλουν νέε νέες επιχειρήσεις τις σχέσεις τους σε αυτό το είδος. Θα είναι η Κέρκυρα, με μεγάλη μας χαρά. Ε, σήμερα δηλώσανε υποψηφιότητα και πολύ μεγάλο ενδιαφέρον και ελπίζουμε μέρα με την ημέρα να καταφέρουμε σε ένα τέτοιο επίπεδο να πετύχουμε τους στόχους μας. Οι στόχοι μας όμως είναι ένας. Όπω πολύ καλά γνωρίζετε, ένα ταξίδι στο εξωτερικό για κάθε γραφείο με τα νέα δεδομένα είναι κάτι πολύ ακριβό. Κάποιοι μπορούν να πάνε, κάποιοι δεν μπορούν να πάνε. Άρα, καταφέρουμε να φέρουμε τα συνέδρια από εκεί εδώ, έτσι ώστε αντί να κάνουμε 10 ταξίδια να πιάσουμε ένα πελάτη, να έχουμε εδώ μια αγορά των 300-500 γραφείων και να αποδείξουμε ότι μπορούμε να του γνωρίσουμε. Άρα, η δουλειά είναι στα χέρια μα. Εμεί θα συνεχίσουμε σε αυτέ τι διαδικασίε και με κάποια άλλα πράγματα που δεν είναι τη στιγμή. Θέλω να σα ευχαριστήσω που ήσασταν εδώ και να σα πω ότι έχουμε σήμερα μια διαδικασία webinar με την οποία και η Αμερική βλέπει αυτήν τη συνάντηση, αλλά και η υπόλοιπη Ελλάδα που δεν μπορούσαν να ταξιδέψουν από τις περιφέρειες και να είναι σήμερα μαζί μας. Παρακαλώ, κύριε Γενικέ, ε, θα θέλαμε να μας δείξετε το καινούριο δόντι σας. Λέτε. Ευχαριστώ πολύ, κύριε Όπως βλέπετε, δεν είμαστε σε πάρα πολύ καλή κατάσταση, αλλά επειδή είναι σημαντική αυτή η εκδήλωση, Ήρθα να τη χαιρετήσω και να σας ε, δηλώσω ότι εμείς, σαν ΕΟΤ και το Υπουργείο, θα στηρίξει όσο μπορεί αυτήν την οργάνωση και μακάρι να έχουμε στο μέλλον και άλλες τέτοιες οργάνωσεις. Αυτά ήθελα να σας πω. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ. Okay. Now in Greek. Dear Bob, please proceed. <laughs> Kalispera. <laughs> Thank you very much, Eparisto, for, for giving me your time, for, for uh, giving us your time to present the Asta Destination Expo. And uh, Mr. General Secretary, Sandra Stathis, Byron, George, all of my friends here, you know, I really, really appreciate this time. And before I get started, uh, I've got a little story. This, this entire event came together through the result of a communication from one gentleman. And um, he's been the glue that's kind of helped us all bring this together. And he was past governor for Aston, 
Byron said to me, gee, I lost my 25 year pin. Do you think you might have another one? So I said, sure. And I sent it and you were on holiday and it got returned somehow to the United States. But this time I brought it with me. So Byron. And thank you for your friendship and for your service as well. Let me put my glasses on because my Greek is not that good. That's what happens when you get to my age. You can't find anything. Literally. <laughs> as you know, my name is Bob Douglas. I'm Vice President of Business Development Meetings and Events for ASTA, the American Society of Travel Agents. And for the third time, we'll be bringing a conference and convention here to Athens, Greece. Oh, and I'm learning. Just click. I'm used to using a Mac. So what we want to talk about today is being able to sell your product through the Asta Destination Expo in Athens, and also your chance to meet hundreds of American sellers of travel face to face. <coughs> uh, these are some of our Asta Fed Hat of friends. We've been working on this going on a year now with events in the United States and in Greece, and I'm sure you recognize many of the wonderful people here. In the lower left, uh, on the right-hand side, is our president and CEO, Zane Kirby. And to the left of him is Arnold Donald. He's the CEO of Carnival Corporation. But as you know, they have many ships that are doing turnaround ports in Athens and visiting a lot of the ports throughout Athens. And uh, they met with the, the tourism minister and uh, general secretary in San Diego at our convention earlier this year. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. <laughs> ah, there we go. I'll use this. Okay, great. Thanks. You know, I, I, I've done this before in front of other groups as well. Ah, there we go. This was last year's Destination Expo. This took place in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, Nairobi was a very exotic destination. There were a lot of challenges in Nairobi. But of course, you know, the thing they have going for them is the wildlife. And uh, it was absolutely, absolutely wonderful, robust destination. But I think we're gonna double those numbers when we come here to Greece, if not more. Uh, we just finished a few weeks ago our Ask the China Summit in Guiang, China. And you were talking about coming and listening in Greek. Well, I spent, I don't know how many eight hour meetings where everyone spoke Chinese but myself. So the Greek is good. I have a lot of Greek friends at home. So, you know, I get that. But this, this was a wonderful event uh, hosted in the southwestern province in China. And uh, there were about 300 and some odd attendees from around the world there. And where have our destination expos been in recent years? Nairobi, Seville, Marrakesh, really throughout the world, South America, Central America, Asia, Europe, Africa. And 98% of all the attendees that come to the Destination Expo, they come to meet you and they wind up selling travel as a result of the contacts of your businesses. Glasses have to go back on again here. 1967, Athens Astor World Congress was here in, in Athens, October 22nd to the 28th. Um, we saw a major increase from the U.S. to Greece as a result of that event. There, Byron, I don't know how many hundreds, if not thousands of people that, that attended that event. And then 20 years later, ASTA was back again. We hosted the 1987 World Congress here, and ASTA's intervention that year helped to cause a lifting of the travel warning to Greece as a result of uh, some things that had happened the prior year. And then travel to Greece from the United States doubled in the year after that. So it was really excellent timing. It was also the largest World Congress ASTA ever had to date. Just like I'm confident, the Destination Expo we have coming up will be our largest attendance probably in the last 10 or 20 years. Now I want to let you know a little bit about who we are as an association, why we're here, why you want to connect. And there are two organizations we actually represent. There's ASTA and then there's an organization called NACTA. We find there's a large growth of independent contractors in the travel industry now that are selling a lot of leisure sales which fit well for this market and for groups. So we'll give you a little bit of overview of who they are, what they sell, you know, why, why ASK is so important in the U.S. travel market and the benefits to you. And then we look at who ASTA represents and, you know, we, we kind of 
have a circle of everyone in the, in the industry. There's leisure agents, consumers, corporate. Uh, we've got travel suppliers like yourself in the room. We've got tourism boards, consortia, independent contractors. States. And 80% of all the travel in the United States is booked through an ask a travel agent. Actually, I think it's 82%. Hit the button. There we go. Now, who does NACTA represent? This is the other association. These are the folks that are the independent sellers of travel. You can see 48% of them are hosted. A host agency in the United States is a very large agency that exists for the purpose of having these independent contractors on their staff. They're small businesses. They don't have the, uh, the back office support to run an agency by themselves, but they have the business. They might have been in a previous career, a teacher, a doctor, a lawyer, and they have all these people to travel, and they bring them along with them. They do groups. I think what's, what's good here, they're bringing cruises, but you know, why are they getting on a cruise ship in Athens coming right from the airport? Why aren't they spending two or three days? Why aren't they going to the islands or up to Thessaloniki? So these are the sort of things we want to train these people to do. And you can see that the vast majority of them, only 6%, are actual employees. The majority of them are independent business people. And this are some statistics here about agency firms versus one person incorporated firm forms. The, the international or the independent agent. And look at the number, 26,827 independent one person travel agents and about 9,500 travel agencies that employ more than, more than one person. And agency type of ask the members, and you can see where the trends are. You see the retail location agencies, retail has been going down in the United States. Home-based, the independent travel agents, they've been going up. You know, the travel agents are still there in the U.S., and that was one thing, you know, that people had mentioned is the number of travel agencies are gone. No, it's the number of retail agencies are gone. People are still there. They're just not selling out of a retail location. And you can see that with business in general. You know, uh, a lot more is being done online and, and through other services. Office locations, eh, standard going down a little bit. And then the famous category, other. And I don't know if people are selling out of the back of their Volvo or exactly what that means, but there are a lot of other places that folks can be. And actually knowing our agents, they're selling while they're traveling. We have one of our board members, uh, she was uh, emergency services in her career, ambulances and, and medical. And in fact, she was a 9-11 hero. She was one of those people that go into buildings when people run out. Well, now she's retired and all these firefighters and police and EMS travel with her, hundreds of them all over the world. So it's very interesting. And her name's Tony Day, by the way. So you'll have a chance to meet her when she comes here because uh, she's got that kind of a personality. Average number of employees and ICs. And take a look, these are the employment numbers and you can see part-time employees stay about the same. With the change in business lately, business is good, full-time employment is up in the agency business. But look at the independent contractors. And it's harder to find where they're at because of their locations, but you can see independents just continue to grow. And these are a lot of the folks that are gonna be coming here uh, in 2018. In 2015, annual sales volume, percent of agencies by category, you can see the vast majority of sales are sold by smaller agencies that sell less than a million dollars a year. And then you see pretty much the larger the sale, the smaller the number is. And you know, we call it in the US the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the people do 20% of the sales and vice versa. Leisure versus corporate sales. The, the folks that are coming here, 82% of them are selling leisure. 12% corporate, 6% corporate managed. So that 82%, that's a big number for a destination like Greece because that's what the majority of business would be. And what's the share by travel segment? What are they selling? Tour packages, 21%, airline 20%, cruise 26%. And we're seeing cruise actually decline a little bit in favor of land right now. It's very interesting. But they're all, they're all growing. It's just the percentages are shifting. All-inclusive resorts, which are very popular in the Caribbean, uh, in Mexico for Americans, that continues to grow as well. And I know you've got a lot of that product here uh, in Greece also. Now let's take a look. This, this kind of breaks down by corporate, retail, and one-person agency, what they sell in each category. And 
it goes for what I've been saying earlier that you know the corporate people are selling more airline, more hotel, and the leisure people are selling cruise tours, etc. And I, I will make this PowerPoint available to you. I know they've been collecting business cards as you come in, so I'll make sure everybody gets an email copy of this as well. And then percent of members reporting consortia or franchise membership. And I know we spoke here, and there's some folks that are affiliated with uh, Virtuoso, with Signature, uh, Travel Leaders. And we, right now, about 73% of all of our members uh, are members of a consortia. And we, uh, all the consortia meet annually as part of our asset global convention. So we serve as the, the umbrella organization for that. And then you take a look, a lot of our agents have rich experience in the industry. Uh, we're looking at 35 to 37% of all of our members are in the business more than 20 years. So there's a lot of experience that's there. Uh, we're also starting to see a real uptick for the first time now in younger people getting into the industry, uh, particularly from the millennial segment, the 20 somethings. That's really growing and that's really encouraging. Now let's talk about the NACTA side of the business. And NACTA agents represent about half a million dollars each in annual sales. And you can see how this is broken down. And again, NACTA, these are these independent contractor salespeople. What are the top destinations they sell? Now, granted, we did this survey after we did an event in Maui, so that's why that's a little bit skewed to 36%, but I expect this chart to shift in about four months, and that 2%, this Athens at the end, kind of go up into the 20s and 30s. So I think, uh, I think that's really going to make a big difference when we come back here. And group travel represents a significant portion of annual sales. You know, I'm, uh, I'm actually still a travel agent myself, and I have... You know, I, I work for ASTA probably 60, 80 hours a week, but I maintain my own business. It's mostly friends and, you know, my influence to them, they wanted to go to Italy this year. I said, are you crazy? I said, this is a year to come to Greece. So I know in May I'll be back with uh, about 12 people, just myself. And a lot of our, our members that are selling group capital, you can see it's a pretty large percentage. You know, they're generating about a quarter percent of their income from group sales. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you very much. And this is an interesting statistic about a lot of our agency members. We find right across the board they attend one to two trade shows and conferences annually. And one of the reasons why we like the Asset Destination Expo, because it is so immersive of each place we visit. So you'll see that uh, a large number of our members are coming to at least one, if not two, conferences a year, and they choose usually our annual convention in the uh, International Destination Expo that we have here. And most agencies find fans to be very effective in helping them sell a destination. And I know that's one of the things that we're working on here. You know, people are flying a long way to come for three days' worth of meetings. So we want them to be able to come here, experience, go to some of the different islands or parts of the Peloponnese or other places of Greece so they can experience the destination for themselves. Uh, you know, places like Santorini and Mykonos, these are, these are legendary in the United States, and Rhodos and, and Crete. And we want people to have the opportunity to come and visit your products, your destinations, so that they're able to come back and learn and sell to their clients. So, you know, as you know, seeing, seeing and touching is so important. As to education, that's an important part of what we do, is we have a travel uh, advisor online education program. It's about 18 months old, and we have uh, 1,200 students that have taken the Becoming a Travel Agent course, which is helping new and young people into the industry. And the core parts of that for us are travel agency, regulatory compliance, a lot of what you do. You know, you're negotiating uh, government rules and regulations in Greece. We do that in the United States for our ASTA members. Uh, business integrity and ethical standards, this is something that's part of the education. Becoming a travel agent, what are the, you know, the ways to do that? How to market themselves and sales strategies for the experienced sales advisor. And uh, we have a program now, the ASTA Verified Travel Advisor. And this is an extensive course where people get a certification <coughs> in sales and they can add VTA after their name. Uh, it's a very important uh, step in someone's career. And the consumers are going to enjoy something like this because they're dealing with someone 
don't know if you, you've heard, uh, there's an American saying, the good housekeeping seal of approval. Well, this is the travel industry's seal of approval within the United States. So we educate our travel agents in the certification program. One of the things we want to start building into it are courses. If you come to Greece to the Destination Expo, you're building your certification toward being a verified travel advisor. This talks a little bit more about some of the courses that are available to folks that take that. And also, we have a consumer-facing website, TravelSense.org, with about 65,000 hits per month on this site. And these are for people that are online and they're trying to figure out, I want to go to Greece, I want to golf, I want to ski, I want to do whatever. And when they're doing that, it links them back to TravelSense and it provides leads. So our members that are coming here that are going to be able to add their specialists in Greece or Greek islands or Greek cuisine, however they want to do it, and when they search for it on Google or Yahoo, it'll pop up and they'll get the leads from the consumers. Um, in helping consumers find travel advisors, we, uh, we're very uh, active right now. We have a, a great PR director in Erica Richter. Erica, if you're watching online, hello. Uh, I know some of our staff might be watching from Washington also. And Eric has been working with a lot of writers like Chris Elliott, who writes for the USA Today and Washington Post. And they talk about the value of using a travel agent versus the value of online. And I know I don't have to tell anybody in this room anything about that. Some of the other places that, you know, the growth of travel agents, the importance of using travel agents have been in a lot of publications, news outlets, CNN, uh, Forbes magazine, which of course is business. Well, you know, I keep hitting the wrong button. These are some of the other uh, some of the other publications where there have been stories about using travel agents in this last year. And then we take a look at what the industry partnership is. And a lot of times we'll have questions. Okay, I'm dealing with Virtuoso. I'm dealing with Signature. Why should I also be working with Asta? <clears throat> and these are kind of you know what everyone provides: the consortia, the franchise, the hosts. They work on sales, marketing, business tools, supplier relationships business planning. ASTA works on connecting travelers and travel advisors, industry-wide networking, which is going to be so important for people coming here to be able to meet each and every one of you. Uh, industry intelligence, what's happening in the industry, and government advocacy, which helps keep their business healthy. And then where both of these meet is in community and education, because, you know, uh, just like everyone in this room, you're competitors, but you're also friends and colleagues and you know the health of one is good for the health of everyone in the room and you know this is the same feeling we have in the u.s consortia partnerships every major consortia is part of asta uh, and their membership is part of asta um, and they serve on our, our board of directors host agencies these are the large agencies that are hosting hundreds if not thousands of independent travel agents Many of them are also affiliated with Travel Leader Signature Virtuoso. Again, ASTA comes back as the nerve center of the industry, uh, and we're the meeting place. The host agencies all meet at ASTA events. The consortia leaders all come together. And who is our organization today? We have at the top of it our Corporate Advisory Council. There are 28 of the largest agencies in the United States, seven consortia, nine suppliers, generate about $50 million, the agencies, about $50 million each or more in business, each. Then we have our premium travel agencies. These are the largest agencies in the country. Uh, there's 147 of them with almost 4,000 employees, sell between five to $50 million each. Travel agencies, about 1,900 of them, 3,100 employees, sell about five million each. The independent travel agents, there's 533 of those. NACTA has another 1,800. And then travel suppliers, we're at about a little over 1,000 right now. Ask the advocacy. We represent the agency community on a government level, on, on all levels, uh, federal level, state, and community. Travel suppliers, you know, we work with our travel suppliers and our partners. We, uh, we had an issue with our good friends at Hilton about booking direct, and they changed some of the, the verbiage on that, so they've been good friends and partners. Technology players, GDS, aggregators, you know, the folks that uh, are in the tech area, and then consumers with TravelSense.org, consumer research and consumer protection. And the bottom line is that AST is the only organization with the industry expertise and relationships policymakers, coalitions, 
that kind of meets the mission of protecting and defending uh, the travel industry, the consumer, and the agents. And we've been expanding. We we want to be very inclusive. One of the reasons we're here is we're all part of the same travel family worldwide. We have chapters throughout the United States, 32 different uh, metropolitan areas. I think we're in the process of adding eight or nine more. We have area directors that provide in different parts of the country. Membership continues to grow uh, through Ann Chamberlain, our VP of membership and her staff. Uh, they've been growing consortium relationships. We've got a great management team. They're all younger than I am. And we've got 650 new independent agents from the, the fastest growing uh, segment in the industry. Now, why do travel agents join ASTA and NACTA? It's to prove their credibility and trust with our logo and with our name. It's access to critical industry documents to protect their business, access to the consumer website, to connect with the suppliers to come to meetings like this and conferences like this to be able to meet you and do business with you, to grow their client base with real-time consumer prospects and also by meeting people like yourselves because how else are they gonna know what the best things are to see in different parts of Greece than by meeting you. And to broaden their network and strengthen their business acumen. You know, we've got to continue to learn to grow. How to network better, we tell them. You join, of course, and you be recognized. Attend the conferences for the suppliers. They invest in sponsorship. And I say I would like to invite you to Alaska, but you can see where I stole this presentation from. My colleague had done something like this for the Alaska Industry Association. So I should say invite to Athens and Greece. But you know, you know, Anchorage is kind of cool too. We were just up there. Um, our global convention in San Diego this year drew over a thousand people. Uh, next year we'll be in Washington D.C. And this year we had some special guests. Uh, Minister Kintora came over. She was one of our keynote speakers, and also Byron to introduce her was one of our, our keynote speakers as well. And then there was the opportunity to meet with. Uh, some of the industry executives, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Peter Greenberg, he's one of the, the leading travel reporters in the U.S., that's him on the right with his back to us. And is anybody here familiar with Game of Baseball in the U.S.? I, I grew, it's like football here. I grew up playing it. Well, the, the big thing in baseball is to throw out the first pitch at a baseball game. That's very an honorary thing to do. And that's exactly what Minister Contori did. She had never held a baseball before in her life. And you know, I was I had the, the privilege to be down with her on the field when she was practicing, and she's good. I mean, she took that ball and threw it exactly where it needed to go. Call it right over the plate. So you can see she was an athlete in her life as well. But you know, we really appreciate your support, the support of, of, of everybody, and not only wanting us to come here, but coming to the United States to to invite our members to come here. The NACTA group, their conference, as you can see, was in Alaska. There were about 300 attendees. And NACTA this year will be with the ASTA meeting in Washington, D.C. And then they'll get on a cruise ship afterwards. Face-to-face -face time with travel advisors. We have a variety of meetings in the U.S. And we, we try to bring people together on different levels. Uh, we have a showcase event in Fairbanks, Alaska. And you think, why Alaska in February? It's the Northern Lights and it's the sled dogs and things like that. The Premium Business Summit is in Washington. It's, it's our largest agency members, and they meet in Washington because, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the nerve center where things happen in the government. Same thing with our legislative day. People fly in, they meet with their members of Congress, their United States senators, you know, like their members of parliament, and try to help them and talk about influencing legislation. Uh, it's important to the travel industry. Our Destination Expo in Athens, of course, you know, a real key event our global convention, and then the, uh, the NACTA conference. And I just you know, want to thank you and show you this is a, some of our staff. Our CEO is a, a tall one whose hat's cut off there in the middle. And uh, I know a lot of these folks are going to be over here in Athens. And then I also want to let you know how you can get involved if you would like to exhibit at the, the Ask the Destination Expo. Of course, you can contact Byron and Asandros and Stathis and our friends at Fed Hatta. But we have a website also, asta.org backslash Athens, or askthedestinationexpo.org. Go on here, go under exhibit, and then from that area, and here go the glasses again, you pop into that area under the tab, and if you've come to an Asta event before, put in your first name, your last name, and your email address. If you've been there, it'll populate. It'll put all of your information in there. Otherwise, just you go through, hit the registration, 
<clears throat> the type of business you are, whether you want to be in the B2B, and I think we're about sold out of the B2Bs, but uh, we've got the trade show space available, and you can do it all online. Some other registration options that are available are sponsorships of some of the tables, some of the other events, and certainly speak with uh, anyone from FedHata or myself on that. And this is our team. This, this is uh, my staff that's working hard to put all this together. Hi, if any of you were watching online, I sent them all the link this morning. Karen Morris is our director of meetings and events. We call her the drill sergeant. You know, she's very good at what she does and getting things done. Kelly Beagles, our director of business development. Sarah Little, also director of business development. Sarah's working very closely with Byron and Fed Hatta. And you know, if you need any assistance with uh, any of the trade show booths or anything you do, Sarah works on that. And Don McGahey, who puts together all of our fan programs, works with our international chapters. Very easy to get a hold of us. We use our first name at asta.org. So you don't have to worry about crazy last names or uh, three of the three of the ladies in the middle all got married in the last year, so you don't have to remember their first name, their last name, their married name, whatever. Real simple. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, Don. Yeah. Well, he gets all my email. I, we get. <laughs> it's funny. We don't look anything like each other, but people are constantly confusing us. It's really funny. So Don, I'm gonna. If you're watching, I'm gonna be sending you all of my email. Thank you for catching that. I don't know how many times I looked at this. And again, you know, this is me. You've got my my phone number on here, but uh, you know, always get me at, at bobandasta.org. And I know a lot of us are friends on Facebook. I use my my given name of Robert, not Bob, on Facebook. If you want to connect with me, and that's the presentation. very much for that you'll see that you know there's a folder and in the folder is my card information on uh, the destination expo and then there's information on our other events on the left hand side so you can even fill this out and hand it to me do it online take a look refer back to it and I don't know if we have time for any questions yeah if, does anyone have any questions I can, yes to I say 300 to 500. And how, what's the percentage that being ASTA or NACTA? I would have to say from past events about 80% ASTA, 20% NACTA. Any other questions? I can't promise to answer in Greek. <laughs> maybe Spanish? <laughs> yes? How many are the active members and how many the allied members? Um, we've got, say, 8,100 members of ASTA, 1,800 members of NACTA. The allied members, the suppliers, are about 1,100. Sure, and the suppliers are everywhere from the largest Hilton Hotel Corporation down to, you know, the smallest one-person tour operator. So, you know, we welcome all of our allies. Does anyone else have any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, for uh, smaller destinations, uh, let's say uh, islands which are a bit off the beaten track, uh, you mentioned something about the post. Uh, the fan tours, yep. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if we want to propose a, a trip to one of these destinations, uh, which is the procedure to do it? Best thing to do is contact uh, Fed Hanna, the Byron and Lissandros or Stathis, and they'll set it up with us. And, and the one thing I should also point out is. The Asset Destination Expo, once it's over, it's not the end of the relationship, it's the beginning. You know, we want to be involved with you every year. We want to be educating our agents. At, where, where are you from? I'm uh, from Milos, Greece. Oh, Milos, okay. So, you know, we, we want people to be able to experience all of these destinations. And month after month, year after year, we want to stay connected. We want people to be exposed to these places. Heck, I want to go there. No, I, I want to learn about these places. Say, so, yes. That that's hard to pin that down. When you use the word decision makers, because of the a lot of them are independent travel agents, they are the decision makers. So they're the ones that are influencing where their groups go. Like my I'm a host at 
agent. So there, there's an owner of the company that I represent, but I'm the one that decides, I'm the decision maker where my group goes. So as far as the, the, heads, of a, the heads of a company that are coming, I would say five, 10 percent. But as far as decision makers, probably 95 percent. Uh, yes. Uh, how, uh, we have, if we have B two B meetings, uh, will the buyers uh, see our profiles and choose for the meetings? Are we going to choose which uh, buyer would like to approach? How is it working? Okay. Yeah. We we don't have the full data to be able to provide that. We can try and help you with an attendee list. We're going to provide your information so that they'll be able to select. And if you know of people, you know, feel free to invite them and. You know get them involved and one of the things we do with our events and, and we're doing here is all of our networking time the cocktail receptions all of it that's open for you to come and meet people so you may meet someone that that you weren't aware of you know where you're having a drink or something and, and find that's a good source of business so i i find networking is so important with that um, are we going to have the list of the you know, participants uh, okay. We're actually, we're probably, I'll tell you right now, we have 208 people that are registered, which for us is about a little ahead of where we normally go. So 208 people based on history tells me 350 to 400 will probably be here based on those numbers. So if I give you the list now, it wouldn't be accurate. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you know, as, as kind of we get going, we can definitely work with you on that. We can definitely look at doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we. Yeah. Well, certainly, you know, the, the, you know, the, the largest that, that we represent are, of course, American Express Travel, uh, Expedia, some of the online are, are all members uh, as well. But the people that, that are the most important, not so much the online that are coming, but the people that will influence travel are from the Travel Leaders Group, Signature Network, Carlson, which is, is now part of Travel Leaders as well, um, AAA, Frosh, uh, Brownell, a lot of uh, Valerie Wilson Travel out of New York. Uh, so it's pretty much anybody who is in the industry. Even though with the internet business, they still travel agents and they still member of us. Yes. This is good for us to hear. Yes. Because everybody thinks that all internet platforms, they do an illegal job. They do mm -hmm. illegal. Mm -hmm. And they produce eight percent of the sales of the outgoing market in the last. Actually, most of that eighty percent is done by the trip, not online. It's done by the, the, the travel agents, a human being, not through the internet. That's good. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, it, it really is. You know, we start talking about different destinations. It's really hard uh, for the internet to sell a destination that people haven't been to. You know, pretty pictures can only do so much. And you know, when you uh, you go online, if you don't know anything about New York City, and you look at the least expensive hotel rates, and all of a sudden you find your you know, 100 kilometers out somewhere in the middle of New Jersey. You know, the internet is not really going to tell you you shouldn't be somewhere in the middle of New Jersey. You should be in the middle of New York City if you want to visit. And it's the same thing with coming here. How else is a travel agent going to know where to visit, what hotel to stay at, what the facilities are if they don't visit themselves? You know, if I don't know the Galaxy Bar for Sunset is the best place to go in the hill, where am I, where am I going to tell my clients to go hang out? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's important. Yeah. Yes. Is there any material that ASTA could provide that would educate suppliers like ourselves what an ASTA member would expect from a supplier? In other words, how to approach an ASTA member? What are they expecting to see from a supplier? Mm -hmm. Well, it, it, it depends also on what, like, what, 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 what do you represent? What product do you have? Uh, I'm a tour operator. Okay, so. Because of the different levels of people that are selling, it really depends on what they're selling, what you're offering. You know, it's kind of hard to describe. But I would say generally by allowing people to know 
the product that you're offered, the, the service levels that you have, the hotels, the, the areas uh, that are covered is the most important thing to do. And coming out, it's hard because you've got to meet people face to face. You've got to educate them. You've got to do the B2B sessions is really the best way to make that connection. Um, you know, when you're a large company like Globus, it's very easy because you've got the money to go out and invest in to advertise. Otherwise, you know, we're finding that networking, meeting people, getting involved with associations you know, like Aster or others that had a, is the best way to some general information. If you go on our website, aster.org, drop down menu under supplier membership, there's information on there. It's kind of basic, but for me, it's, it's just networking, meeting people. Sure. Uh, there is no microphone, so it's not easy to understand what other colleagues, maybe I am covered. But I would like, if possible, to, uh, to make focus, to be more realistic, that ASTA means business. This is what everybody expects. Mm -hmm. We all want to have this unwritten law to say that ASTA is a profit for you, it's, it's good for you. But not only just to, like this, we need to focus, we have to, the, 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 together with the motto, the logo, this year to be Aston means business. This is the way when I was the president of Aston, when it was very only 24 members. Then I make emphasis on this. I got 192. But everybody expects business. Everybody wants to be a and to work together with the Greeks. True. And uh, this is my suggestion. Sorry, if I give a fun word, I was kind of right something else. But no, well, thank you. And definitely, that's why we're here. And young lady in the back had a question. Uh, maybe for the <laughs> I'm concerned about the functions. Who is going to organize them, and can we participate? Sure, I, I, absolutely. I would I would encourage you to speak with Lissandros and, and Byron. They're 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 working with us on that because I'm, you know, they're the best qualified for knowing the destination. We definitely would like to work with you on that. And it's just not just destination. No, sorry, not this destination expo. I think it was Bodkin here, George. Uh, <laughs> not just this destination expo. But we'll do fams beyond. In, in the years to come as well. Yes, sir. Allow me to give you some more information. We all know that ASTA is issuing eight magazines every year, plus the issues of NACTA which means we have plenty of floor to advertise your, each one of us, our business to the States, because these magazines go to all travel agents. Also, they have the side on the information. And as far as you are getting an ASTA member, you are allowed to be also, of course, they have their own procedures to go on webinars to sell your product. Everything is open. There is nothing does not allow a member to get in touch with a member under the procedures of ASTA. I know this is very quick meeting today and uh, you did not have enough time to talk and sit together with Bob. And uh, I would like to let you know that sometime in January he will be back with the president having another visit here. And we may have a meeting not in the level of the speech in the hotel. We may have uh, private groups on a round tables putting questions and answers and to understand very well what do we want from ASTA. We did not invite ASTA just for show off. We did not invite ASTA just to make a PR for our federation. We invite ASTA and I will repeat whatever you said to make business. The Americans make business and they know how to make business. We know how to make business. What is missing is the link between them and us. So what we're looking around is how to get in touch and how the new agencies, they want to enter into this market. It's very easy, it's very simple. Nothing is difficult and you don't need millions to talk to these people. We know from the past, which we used to work for the American market for many, many years, how difficult was those days to approach the members of ASTA. How expensive was costing to us to go to the ASTA conventions, even locally in the States or around the world. 
Now we use this bloody machine with the internet. It's quick. You know it's quick. And you know whatever you have on your side. It would be easy approach to all members. So there are formulas that you may advertise your activities, your company's profile, and you may ask for some other agents according to what your needs or what you think or what do you want to enter yourself in the American market. Everything is open. Is this correct, Bob? Absolutely. Absolutely. How much? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it back. Um, well, I think we've finished. Uh, uh, do you have any other questions? You are not allowed. Go ahead. <laughs> I saw the expo Sunday, Monday. Yes. Why so little? Few hours. Yeah. It's, Very few hours. Uh, usually, you move a lot of people around, and they stay from the 14th to the 18th, and then they go to post tours. So each visitor will spend to Greece more than eight days. You imagine you cannot have more than two full day sessions, meetings, presentations. You have a day before, which is not open for all of us. It's only for them when they arrive. On the 17th, they have to join all day tours, cruises around to meet the product of Athens and the suppose in the island in the Aegean. And then they have to go to the destination. So you understand it's good enough. Yeah, 50-50. Σα ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ και μπορείτε έξω ευχαριστώ. Ναι, Γιώργο, συγγνώμη. Συγγνώμη, ένα λεπτό. It's uh, important to mention that the expo is not only for days. The expo is from today and the exposure and the marketing tools can be used until the next expo, which gives a full year of action today. Very okay. good, George. Very good reminding us that. What does that mean by that? They issue the brochures. They have all the sides of Asta from day yesterday until the next destination is going to be next year. The candidate country will be selected and they will start advertising next December the other destination. So from this year till the end of December, the floor is yours. The front is ours. Okay? We can have webinars, we can go together, we can make joint venture companies to come and promote the products abroad. Thanks, you guys. Bob. Since, since you say thank you, I'll say Efaristo. Appreciate your time. This is my third trip in the last few months. So we'll be back again. And any questions, bob at asta.org. Thank you again. Thank you.